I know the Mi 11 Ultra might be the top dog from Xiaomi right now, but I think every Xiaomi fan should have this phone, the Mi 10 Ultra, Xiaomi's 10th anniversary phone, so let's go check it out. And here it is in all its transparent glory, the Xiaomi 10th anniversary Mi 10 Ultra right here. As you can see, the transparent edition. And I know this is a fake transparent back, but if you're gonna get one, this is the one to get. It does come in black or silver, but man, look at this one. This one just looks sick. And so you can see here, you've got the big camera array right here. And you see the 120 times right there. So 120 times digital zoom. And you can see right here, if that comes into focus, 2010 to 2020. 10th anniversary Xiaomi phone right here and this thing looks amazing so I think if you're gonna get one this is the one to get this came out last year obviously and when it was released this thing was only about $700 which is just crazy I think even with the import markup it was like eight to nine hundred dollars depending on where you bought it from and I think for that price under a thousand dollars this thing is still a beast even in 2021 so where do they have to cut corners to bring the price down basically there's just no IP rating and it's got a 1080p display Otherwise, it has all the other top-end specs that were released at the time. It has a Snapdragon 865, which is still super fast here. It's got 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of UFS 3.1 fast storage. There is no micro SD card for expansion, but it does have configurations up to 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage if you needed it. It does have an OLED display, and it has the 120 hertz high refresh rate display. It's got stereo speakers, NFC. It's got the IR blaster because it's a Xiaomi phone. They always put IR blasters in here and it's got a under display fingerprint scanner, face unlock, a large 4,500 milliamp hour battery with 120 watt super fast charging. It also has 50 watt fast charging and it still has reverse wireless charging. So a lot of the top end specs for well under a thousand dollars, even after importing this thing. So I think this is still a great option here in 2021. And I know the Mi 11 Ultra is the current top dog from Xiaomi, but this Mi 10 Ultra for the price it's still packing a lot and offers uh, a lot for that money. And I still think this is a great option in 2021. This thing is, like I said, is just a beast and this hardware is just beautiful. I mean, it's got that translucent back, which just is stunning to look at. And it's got a glass front and back. I think it's grilled glass five on the back, grilled glass six on the front, if you care about that kind of thing. Solid aluminum frame around this thing. You can see the volume rocker and power button there. You can see the type C port along with the speaker and the SIM tray with the microphone. You've got microphones on top here as well. Nothing on the other left-hand side. So, and of course, no three and a half millimeter headphone jack, but it does come with the adapter if you want to plug in your headphones. That comes in the box, which is great. So all of your top end specs, just no IP rating, 1080p display, but that's just gonna be better battery life. All for well over a thousand bucks. The hardware on this thing is just sick. I mean, it's just an amazing phone still. And like I said, under display fingerprint reader, and you just saw the face unlock. It didn't even look like it was, I had security enabled. It's just so fast. I mean, that face unlock is crazy. Look at that, even from behind the camera, face unlock is just super fast. It doesn't even look like it's unlocking. Let me point it away. So you can see there, it's looking for my face and immediately unlocks. Let's try the fingerprint scanner. So super fast fingerprint scanner as well. Reliable, unlocks it pretty much every single time. So biometrics on this thing are top notch. And this does have some pretty crazy wallpapers because it's running the latest MIUI 12.5.1. So they have what they're calling super wallpapers here. So if you go into the wallpapers, um, they've added this kind of snowy peaks. So I'll go through them so you can see what they look like, but they're pretty nice here. You can see what that looks like. They put the motion and animations. So that looks pretty crazy. They have geometry as another super wallpaper. And that's what this one looks like. And we see here, what else you got? Fairway. Fairway rings, which is basically just Saturn. You can see all that stuff. So that looks crazy. And they've got a few more, I think. So if we go into more, we can see here they have Earth. So a few 
of the planet here. You can see there, all the way up zoomed in, and all the way with an ocean picture right there. And then we go to Mars, the red planet. So let's take a look at that one. So really cool, really nice, stunning looking super wallpapers for your display. If you wanna use that, that's all built into the latest MIUI 12.5. And other things they're sporting here. So because it is running MIUI 12.5, it is running Android 11. And it has the March security update on this thing. And with really the MIUI 12.5, they're really sporting additional optimizations here with the system. So they're saying it should use 22% less CPU and 15% less on the power consumption. So much more efficient operating system. And I'll show you some of the screenshots when you first kind of um, set up your phone. So they say, welcome to me, UI 12.5. They're sporting some new nature-based sounds. Okay, whatever on that stuff. But they are also emphasizing privacy. So secure clipboard and not sharing your exact location and even protecting photos and conversations. So there may be some distrust because this is a Chinese-based phone. And again, uh, this was only released in China, the Mi 10 Ultra. There is no global version. So this is only released in China. So you can only import this if you're here in the US like me. And there are also sporting this new notes app. They're playing this one up. It says, you know, capture your thoughts. They have features like mind maps and different kind of pen modes for drawing and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but that's kind of really the main highlights that they're trying to support with MIUI 12.5.1. And as you can see here, I'll show you what it's running here. Again, you can see for yourself, MIUI 12.5.1. 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage on this one. But like I said, you need up to 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage if you really wanted it. Um, you know, 4,500 milliamp capacity. So you can see they split the battery in half. So that's how they get the super fast charging. They're charging two of those smaller capacity batteries at the same time. 1080p resolution right there. And you can see all the cameras, but here are the specs. So you can see uh, Android 11 and the March security patch as well. And so if you're wondering what the camera here is on the back, so it's got a really crazy quad camera array. So even this is though this is not the Mi 11 Ultra, these cameras are still more than capable. It's got a 48 megapixel main sensor with optical image stabilization, and that's a custom sensor designed for them by Omnivision. And so it's a really large sensor at one over 1.32 inches. So pretty big and amongst some of the biggest even today. So all that means it lets in a lot of light because it's a 48 megapixel sensor, but it has 1.2 micron size pixels. So usually for reference, 48 megapixel sensors are usually only around sub one pixel. So it's usually like 0.8 pixels, which is really small, meaning less light and worse low light performance. So with this 48 megapixel camera, by default, every pixel is 1.2 microns. So really large pixels by default. And they'll, then they'll use pixel binning, which means they'll combine pixels, several pixels into one down to a 12 megapixel photo. And it'll be even more detailed and capture even more light. So this should be a low light beast. It's got a 48 megapixel telephoto camera as well with optical image stabilization. And that periscope zoom lens goes up to five times optical, but like you saw 120 times digital. It also has another 12 megapixel telephoto lens at let's see, um, 1.4 micron size pixels. So it should be good in low light as well for a telephoto lens and also two times optical zoom. And you've got a 20 megapixel ultra wide angle camera as well. So a really super capable camera system here on paper. And I've already taken one shot with it of my dog indoors. It was pretty dark because it was, well, low light. It wasn't pitch black, but indoors at night with all the lights down and the amount of detail that it captured out in her fur. Other cameras just muddle out her fur and just look terrible as you can see here. This picture, when I took it, I was just blown away because I've seen what other cameras look like in that same setting and it's nowhere near that. So I'm really looking forward to trying out the camera system here. So if you wanna see this compared to anything specific, let me know, but I think the cameras on this thing are gonna be absolutely amazing. And so, like I was also saying, the display is also very nice and vibrant because it's an OLED display. It's got um, 1080p display, but it's still nice and vibrant, very um, bright indoors. Outdoor visibility is pretty good. It could be brighter. I think this only gets up to maybe about 800 nits or so. Let me see. No, actually peak brightness is 1120 nits. So still gets pretty bright. So I think even outdoors is gonna look very good. Um, it does have a high refresh rate display. So if I actually go into display settings, we can go here, check out display. And we can go to refresh rate. You can see here 120 hertz refresh rate. You can dumb it down to 60 hertz if you wanna save some battery, but I don't know why you wanna do that when you're paying for that nice, smooth 120 hertz rate goodness. So high refresh rate here display too. And it just looks absolutely amazing. I'm gonna queue up a video so you can kind of see what that display looks like as well as hear these stereo speakers.
So there you go, as you can see, really nice looking display, really good sounding stereo speakers. And of course, like I was talking up that camera array, let's go ahead and take a look at Xiaomi's camera app. So for those with the latest Xiaomi phones and the latest U Mi UI, this is their stock camera app. It looks exactly the same as my Mi 11, for example. So you've got auto photo, you've got portrait, you've got night mode. You can use the full 48 megapixels if you want. So I would advise you to use that if you have really good lighting because it'll pull in the most amount of detail. Other than optimal lighting, I would just use the standard auto mode so that it pixel bins down for you and provides you the best possible photo. Of course, you have video and you do have pro mode for photos. Doesn't look like you have pro mode for video though. So if you're looking for pro video, not here, but you do have pro uh, mode for your photo photography and your photos. And so you also have HDR. You can have auto HDR or always force it on. It does have an AI mode, which I don't really use. And you can see here some of the other settings. So you have one tap access uh, to some of your favorite settings here. So you can turn on your grid lines, everything else. But if you go to video, you have one tap access to setting your resolutions, which is nice. So you can go anywhere from 720p up to 8K and it can shoot up to 4K 60 frames per second or 8K 24 frames per second. And you have access to your other features here. Like if you want your grid lines, macro mode is right here at a touch of a button as well. And you can also go into the settings and see what else that it has. So of course it's gonna have stabilization for your videos. And that's pretty much it for your video settings. Let's go into photo, check out all the main settings here. We'll go into settings. You can add your watermark if you want. You can get live tips for better composing your shots. It does have distortion correction for the ultra wide angle lens, as well as for face distortion. So if there's people on the edges in big group shots, you can turn that on to eliminate the distortion on people's faces. Um, close focus or macro mode kind of help when you're um, trying to get to really close proximity to something, which is really key on these large sensors. These large main sensors, if you get too close, they're not gonna, they're not gonna have very good focus at close proximity. So that's gonna help you out there. You can set picture quality and a whole bunch of other things here. So pretty basic camera settings as well. But from what I've seen on my Mi 11 and other Xiaomi phones, Xiaomi's imaging and camera performance has gotten so good these days that they're competing with some of the best out there right now. Combining that with the fantastic hardware that they're putting on these phones, I think Xiaomi has really stepped up their camera game overall. So uh, really looking forward to trying out these cameras as well. So there you go, that's my unboxing run through and first impressions of Xiaomi's 10th anniversary phone, the Mi 10 Ultra in this transparent edition here. So of course I'm gonna be doing some camera comparisons. I do have the Mi 11 Ultra in global, the global edition coming in at some point. So I'm gonna test it up against this, which is why I want to get the previous version, the Mi 10 Ultra. I always like comparing the previous version to the latest version, but if there's any other phones you wanna see this compared to, specifically camera comparisons, or you wanna know anything else about the Mi 10 Ultra, let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer what I can. And as always, Thanks for watching.